Hello, y'all. Y'all already know what we finna do. We finna get into these messages from our Elohim and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? We have official person, high honor. Family room, pathway, main female. So we have an official person that's of high honor. Something could be going on in the family room here. Maybe some form of discussion, you know, about a pathway that has been taken by a main female. So let's see what the divine want us to know about this. Somebody could be 24, 27, 23, 37. Somebody could be 22, 25, 21, 35, 20, 23, 19, 33. Somebody could be uh, born in February, April, May, March, January. The 2nd, the 22nd, the 25th, the 21st, and the 30, I don't know, I'm about to say in the 30th. <laughs> Those can be significant. Those dates can be significant. The 3rd and the 5th, too, as well, could be significant. July could be significant. August could be significant as well. So what we're about to do is, you already know we finna lay the tarot down and see what's going on. Somebody is official of high honor in the family room. Okay, maybe on a pathway to transformation here. And then we have a main female. So let's see what's going on. A main female might be this official person of high honor, but we're gonna see. Can we get something for the official person here? Who's this official person? Who's this official person? Who's this official person? Who's this official person? We have the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Cups in the Page of Cups. So somebody could feel like it's a missed opportunity, a plan to apologize to this official person here. Somebody could be looking at, looking at that as a missed opportunity to apologize, a plan that they have made or something like that. Um, to apologize to an official person. What's going on with this high honor? Somebody could want to apologize to an official person, but they, or they could be in regret and they plan to apologize to an official person. What's going on with this high honor? Okay, somebody is high honor. We have the sun with the nine of cups. Somebody could be, you know, in high honor, a sun child. We have Yashua here with the nine of cups getting their wishes granted. Somebody with the temperance and the inference right after that. Someone could have Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra in their chart. Um, this person is of high honor. This person is an empress, angelic, divinely protected, beautiful, nurturing, peaceful, joy, and getting their wishes granted. This person of high honor. Venus energy, love energy. Persevering. Okay. What's the family room? What's going on in the family room? Or it's being illuminated that somebody is of high honor here. Family room magician here. 
Yeah. What about this magician energy? What about this magician energy? Somebody could be powerful, okay, in the family. <coughs> okay, this person could be powerful in their family as above, so below. Whole, conscious. Um, we have judgment right after that. This person has a higher calling, okay in their family here. What's going on with this pathway? This pathway is a new opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles here. And this main female is uh, of authority here. King of Swords with the main female. Okay, even though this is a female, this female is in an authority position with this King of Swords um, energy. So somebody can plan to apologize. If somebody has some regret, somebody can plan to apologize to this official person. This official person is this main female. So there could be some people that want to apologize to you. They plan to apologize to you. Some people have some regrets because you are high honor. You are a sun child. You're getting your wishes granted. You give peace, love, and joy. You're whole and you're protected by Yahshua. You are a magician in your family. You're a whole as above, so below. You're conscious too as well. You could be a divine messenger or you can just have a higher calling, okay? With the sun, through the sun, through the most high. You're pure, you have been reborn, and you're honest. Your pathway is new opportunities from the divine, gifts from the divine. Main female of authority. You can have, and then you've got that Empress energy. Who was in front of the Empress? I can't even remember. But I did see the Empress energy for you. So you're a goddess energy. Um, you can have, in your Venus, you can have um, Leo, Taurus, Libra. Aries, Pisces, and your Venus sign. Or those signs can be in your sun sign. But you're of high honor. You're an official person. By the divine giving you that title. Because that's how you got this judgment, magician, sun. You got the ace of pentacles with the empress. Somebody want to. Somebody is willing to work hard to give you some form of apology too. With this Seven of Pentacles, somebody could want to apologize here from withdrawing energy and things of that nature towards you. took a leap of faith towards the sun this is why you got your wishes granted here having faith you teamed up with the divine here and now you have the ten of cups complete happiness you teamed up with the supreme ruler the supreme ruler gifted you this was your judgment here double confirmation of this judgment energy judgment card you definitely could uh, be a divine messenger of some sort. You can channel a consciousness greater than your own, but you have complete happiness granted to you here. The Ten of Cups. And you got the Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune here. So things going in your favor with these new opportunities here. 
Also, a King of Swords can feel mentally entrapped too as well. A King of, a King of Swords, King of Pentacles. They could have been in devil energy, doing risky behavior. Somebody could be have Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart, Sagittarius. This is this could be the person that wants to apologize. But you also are in boss energy here. Okay, yeah, you're committed to whatever you do. Also, um, we have the Knave of Pentacles. You gain a greater understanding and you put your talents to service here. So you got the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Judgment, Nine of Cups, Sun, Magician. Ooh. Things looking good for you. Things looking good for you. Okay, somebody could have been jealous and envious of you. Also, you need to know if somebody um, shows that they are jealous of you or envious of you, do not take that lightly. Do not take that ish lightly. You could have been taking it lightly before, but do not take that lightly. Rest is the part of the work as well. You must come down to be raised back up. That's showing yourself some love, getting the rest that you need. Sign, sealed, deliver. I'm yours. So you have been signed, sealed, and delivered. Okay, you are the sons. You are the most highs. Which is beautiful. There's some beautiful energy here. This is a little bit lighter. <laughs> a little bit lighter energy. A little bit lighter energy. We got Daya hide away. And Kiana Lede fill away. And then we have Glorilla, No More Love. So go and listen to Glorilla, No More Love, Kiana Lede, Fill Away, and Dea, Hide Away. Those songs can have a significant message in there for you. And we're going to go ahead and pull a Grateful Heart message for you. May we please have a grateful heart message, please. Thank you. This is the day that Yahweh has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Carpe diem. Rejoice while you are alive. Enjoy the day. Live life to the fullest. Make the most of what you have. Joy runs deeper than despair. Oh, the joys of those who trust in Yahweh. I will praise you, O oh Yahweh, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. O oh, my strength to you, I sing praises for you, O oh Yahweh, are my refuge. The Yahweh who shows me unfailing love. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. So I hope you all got a message from this read. That will be able to help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.